Conquering conjunctions, avoiding run-on sentences. Hello, language learners. Today we're focusing on an important topic in English grammar, conjunctions. They can be a bit tricky, especially when it comes to avoiding common mistakes such as creating run-on sentences. Don't worry, we're here to help you master this tricky terrain. First, let's get a grasp on what run-on sentences are. A run-on sentence is when two or more independent clauses, clauses that could stand as complete sentences on their own, are incorrectly joined together without proper punctuation or a conjunction. For instance, I love pizza, it's delicious. Notice anything wrong here? It's a run-on sentence. We'll discuss how to correct it in the next section. Now, let's talk about some common mistakes involving conjunctions that lead to run-on sentences. One of the most common is comma splicing, where two independent clauses are incorrectly joined with just a comma. An example would be, I went to the store, I bought some apples. It might sound okay, but grammatically, it's not correct. Another mistake is when no conjunction or punctuation is used at all like the pizza example we saw earlier. Remember, proper use of conjunctions is critical for constructing clear and concise sentences. So, how do we fix run-on sentences? One way is to use a conjunction to join the independent clauses. In English, there are seven coordinating conjunctions, often remembered with the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Using our pizza example, the corrected sentence would be, I love pizza, and it's delicious. Notice how the conjunction, and, joins the two independent clauses together properly. For the comma splice example, we could say, I went to the store, and I bought some apples. Again, the conjunction, and, solves the problem here. Another way to correct run-on sentences is to use proper punctuation, like a semicolon, a period, or a comma in combination with a conjunction. The key is to ensure that each independent clause is properly separated and connected. There you have it, learners. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of how to avoid run-on sentences by using conjunctions correctly. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep writing and paying attention to your conjunctions and punctuation. Avoiding run-on sentences will become second nature in no time. Happy learning!